Hi, welcome to another episode of What's Up with DJ, and I am DJ. And uh, thank you for joining me. I'm so happy that you are here. Each week I bring you topics about pop culture, career development, holistic living, life hacks, and stories of inspiration and humor. So be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and leave a review of the show. Your thoughts are always encouraged and appreciated. An easy way to find us on YouTube, Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and Stitcher. Well, there's a ton of ways to get a hold of us and, and to listen to the show. Go, just go to kazo.me forward slash DJ. And also, you can always drop me an email. Just send your thoughts to DJ at DJCareerCoach.com. Again, that's DJ at DJCareerCoach.com. Okay, with all that being said, let's get into the show. Um, my guest this week is Darren Carimo, a 20-year-old MCA Events Loans Broker. That's uh, Merchant Cash Events Loans Broker who went from $10,000 in debt to collecting a $200,000 a year in commissions, collecting $200,000 in commissions. It took him less than three years, and Karimom shared his journey on his personal, sometimes chaotic, yet always informative YouTube channel, which I'll leave the link in the show description. The Staten Island native said he first started at a Long Island City shop and quickly made some early deals, eventually leaving to start his own firm, Funder Hunt, and recently opened an office in Miami. That's cool. I I haven't been to Miami yet. I'm trying to get to Miami. (laughs) It's an awesome place uh, to work. But do the YouTube videos help him make those deals? Of course they do. And Karimo says he is not only getting deals through his video platform, but he also gets questions from other MCA brokers who reach out to him. So how are you doing today? Hey, you know, if things going well in Miami, how's the weather? How's the weather in uh, Miami, Dave? Run? Beautiful. I mean, 70s all year round. Uh, paradise. I bet, man. I'm looking at the view in it behind you. It looks awesome. I'm just looking at the the sky, the little bit that I can see. It looks awesome, man. You know. So, uh, what made you want to become a um, a merchant cash advance loans broker? Yeah. So I, I got into the industry by accident uh, when I was, you know, 18, 19 years old. I. Uh, you know, next the next logical step for me after coming out of high school was to go to college, and mm-hmm. so I, I I got accepted, and you know I could probably take like ten minutes of of one class before I get start to get bored, <laughs> so um, I left and then but I didn't know that I would still get charged for the classes that were canceled, mm. so uh, that was a pretty big bill that I had to come up for come up with you know, within a span of like one to two months, I had to come and find a way to make 10 grand real quick. Um, you know, doing what I've always done. I didn't see it. So I just had to find a job and I found a job luckily in commercial finance. Mm, mm. So, so, uh, you know, most kids come out of high school don't go, Oh, I'm going to be a loan officer, <laughs> a loan broker. You know, how, how, you know, have did you heard, had you heard of it before? Have you ever heard of the, the term or, you know, is it in your family? How did you like go? This is what I want to do. I mean, it, you know, it's, uh, I mean, I've had sales jobs in the past, but I never, never really, uh, dealing with merchants and business owners, but, you know, they, they say something about this industry. It's like once you get in, you can never leave. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's promising. It's very rewarding. And, you know, you're dealing with business owners. You're dealing with people that are people that just like yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's pretty cool. And, you know, it's just it's just so fun because you could there's always new, new things that were, were coming out with new products and uh, just ways to get creative with the money. 
Um, mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, everybody needs money. So well, you got that I, right, man. It's not really, a, it's not really a hard sell. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy product to sell. So, so what exactly is a merchant cash? I mean, it's sort of, it's kind of in the name, but, um, but I really want to know how do you help businesses and why would they need a uh, MCA or merchant cash advance? Uh, people that, let me explain. My, my, my favorite type of clients are people that are always purchasing inventory, but mm-hmm. at the end of the month, they could run a little bit low on cash, you know, payroll, rent, things like that come up. And then they don't have any cash at the end of the month. They could have like a thousand dollars left in a bank account, let's just say. Mm. And, um, but those people know that they're going to get more money coming in from their sales and their receivables. So whether that's 30, 60, 90 days out, they know they're going to get paid. So it's just like a, I don't know, I guess like a bridge you could, you could call it Uh merchant cash advance though. It, what it is, is it's, 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 it's not a loan. Uh, we're purchasing future receivables. So we can purchase a, a percentage of whatever the guy's bringing in. Mm-hmm. So it's not a loan, but it's more so a simple cash advance. So you know that at in like I say that to put it in simple terms, because most people are working for someone and just say you know that I'm going to get paid on Friday, but my bank account is low on Wednesday. So I reach out for that cash advance from a company. They advance it to me. And then once I'm paid on Friday, then I pay you guys back probably with additional fee. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of like that. Uh, except we're, we're really basing on what the guy brings, brings in a month. Um, so like if someone's bringing in like $50,000 a month, you know, if we took 10% of that and that could be their debt servicing. So now they're paying us five grand a month um, in exchange for a $50,000 funding. Got it. Okay. So you don't have to pay the entire amount at the end exactly. of the month, but it has to be a percentage of what you agreed upon. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's say I'm an entrepreneur and I am trying to get my business off the ground because it's a startup and, um, and yeah, I'm bringing in money. Um, I am, you know, getting some, some revenue and I need maybe some, uh, a, a, an advance to sort of, Hey, I mean, I, I, I am trying to maybe uh, put my name out there, uh, marketing, or there may be some inventory that I need to purchase. And so I reach out to you guys to, for that additional funds, um, and set up some kind of agreement on how I want to pay that back. Did that, did that make any, did that sort of fit in terms of what you guys do? Yeah. Yeah. Then, you know, the, the, People ask me a lot what, what the rates and what the rates and terms are, mm-hmm. but you know, at the end of the day, it has to make sense for for both parties. And mm-hmm. so we don't we don't do deals that don't make sense. Yeah, who you know that that's that sounds like a bank. <laughs> it sounds like somebody you're gonna borrow money from. I mean, I totally get that. If you can't pay the money back, or I don't think you can, then you know, I can't help you. You know, uh, I definitely hear sometimes people say that you know banks are are organizations that offer uh advances they you know basically if they want to know you know in other words it's like if i know you need it then probably i don't want to give it to you i want to give it to someone probably that looks like they don't need it (laughs) exactly you you never you can never borrow a dollar that you can't prove you don't need from the bank yeah, exactly. And I always say, you know, it's it's always about taking money and someone else's money and making more, you know, and I think that's uh, what shows that you're business savvy. If you can take uh, a dollar and turn it into five dollars, you know, if someone gives you 10 grand and you can turn 10 grand into 30,000. I think that shows that you have something that's profitable. You have something that, something that people want to buy. Um, but you know, you, you have, you know, you had to have something in order to make more money off of, you know, if you can take that 10,000 and you really have services and products that people want, then you can turn that 10,000 into 30,000, you know, no problem. 
Well, the SBA is giving out trillions of dollars right now. So I guess we'll, we'll, we'll see what these entrepreneurs do within the next 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. So have what have how has COVID how has that uh, affected your business and, and also the clients that you have? Oh, man. I mean, it, you know, if we're talking about the SBA. I mean, they're they're our biggest competition right now. You know, a lot of times people would get to these two, three hundred thousand dollar loans in the SBA and then they, 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 don't, they don't need our money anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. Um but other than that, uh, yeah, it, it, it almost. And you say SBA, you mean the Small Business Association, right? Yeah, Small Business Administration. Uh, okay, administration. Okay, and how is that competition to you? How does that? How does SBA, um, that you know, federal? I think it's a federal agency. How how does they pose a threat to to you to your company? I mean. They, they they probably underrate a lot different than than, than how we do it. I think you know they they base it on an annual revenue. Mm -hmm. um, so like if you could get probably like one to two times your annual revenue, which mm -hmm. which that's just it's just just insane. There's no way we can offer that much. We can't offer you you know what you make in a year. But um, but yeah, I mean once they get once they get that quarter million dollars, half a million dollars, what the, it's going to take them time to to get to go through that before they start looking for more uh, investors. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, 2020 almost wiped us out um, because at that time it was just, everybody was getting declined because nobody had receivables coming in, right? Everything was shut, was getting closed down. Right. Um, so with a few businesses that were open that were, you know, like a restaurant or something like that, that, that was able to get funded. But yeah, like what, what what it did for well for us and what I really what I really liked at it coming out of 2020 is it took mm -hmm. out a lot of the bad funders that shouldn't shouldn't have been in business. Oh and yeah. Yeah, I can imagine, man. It shut yeah. a lot of business down, bad business down. I mean, good business too, but definitely bad business. Yeah, so we we went from having a a lender list at of like probably like 50 and then we we probably decreased it, you know, by 20 to 25% of what it used to be. Um people that are that we're tight with Mm -hmm. So, so if I was to come to you and say, Hey, uh, I, I need to utilize your service, what would be the least I could borrow and the most that I could borrow? Um, so we're funding anywhere from, you know, a couple thousand, a couple of G's mm -hmm. to, uh, 2 million. Wow. That's awesome, man. Two, I could use $2 million. <laughs> that sounds great. So if, if, I, if I'm coming to you and say I'm approved for $2 million and, um, and what the expectation would be the expectation for me to have that, to have that $2 million paid back and whatever fees that are applicable to that would be like one year or would be five years. How long am I, would it take for me to pay back whatever amount of money that I am requesting or I'm approved for? Five years. What are you trying to have another baby? <laughs> I mean, or a family. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, that, that's what I usually say. But, um, no, I mean, most of our, most of our fundings are probably for a couple of months. Sometimes mm -hmm. we go out to 18 months, uh, 24 months on a really, mm -hmm. really good file. Mm -hmm. But yeah, typically a couple months. A couple of months. Okay. Okay. And, and so, I mean, how do you guys check credit worthiness and to say this is a good uh, company to, to help us support? Um, so we look at the, we look at a couple of things. We look at the strength of the business, you know, how much, how much you're, you're bringing in versus how much cash is left at the end of the month, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, if you're, if you're constantly going negative in your account, that's, that's not really a good sign. It kind of shows that you don't know how to run your business. Wow. Uh, um, other than that, I mean, credit score, uh, you know, personal credit score, the social security number tells your life story. Um, you know, amount of debt servicing they have. If, if, if all their money is going towards other funding companies, that's not a, that's not a, that's not good either. Right. Um, Cause there's no room for us. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the industry, the industry is pretty important too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause like, cause like, for example, a trucking company, you know, if they have two trucks and then one of them breaks down, you know, that's, that's half the sales for the month. Got it. So to me, it's like, you, you definitely want to do a, 
a good look, not just into their financial stability, but also, you know, how well they're working, how, you know, you know, what, what are, what attributes, what, what uh, resources do you have, you know, and how those being handled as well, you know, because like you said, you know, you might have a great uh, credit history, but your, you know, your trucks don't work or you got a bad retention, your customer, you know, your, your employees are not happy, you know, so I, that, that could definitely impact them, you know, in the future, in the short future, you know, so I definitely, it's, it's awesome that you guys take the time. So how do you, how do you guys say there is a company out there and, you know, they look good in the books, but they do have some problems internal. How do you guys, you know, are able to use your tools to find that out? Internal as far as, you know, maybe they, they're, maybe they are a trucking company and, you know, their trucks are, are breaking down constantly where they, they're not going to be able to make their deliveries in a timely fashion and, you know, it's not something that you easily can see necessarily looking at a credit, a credit history, but it's something that, you know, is happening. How do you guys detect that? OK, I got you. Yeah, it's easy. I mean, we, 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 we look at the bank statements. Um, so the bank statements are going to show you how much how much that you're depositing. We typically ask mm. for three, three months bank statements. Mm. OK, OK. Uh, so basically what you were looking for is, oh, OK, well, uh maybe last year or two years ago or however many years on your bank on your credit history it looks good but in the last uh, three six months you know there's been some problems you know we can see that just checking out your bank statements yeah yeah i mean if we see that you know just just a bunch of zell transfers we might not that be that aggressive mm-hmm. or um or if he's spending money at the <laughs> At the casino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, Miami is a, it's a, it's a hot place. I can imagine how you can go there and have a good time, you know, and forget about what you probably be doing, you know? So, so what is business? If you compare what, when you was in um, New York um, doing business, what is the differences you've noticed doing that business in Miami? Uh, the difference is definitely there's a there's a more laid back attitude here. Mm. Uh, I don't I I'm hard to get find I'm finding it hard to to find talent the, the right talent right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, I mean, nobody really knows what we do he, around here because like if, if in New York there's probably like a dozen shops for every five square miles in just in New York city alone. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but here there's not, there's not that much competition. There's not that many funding companies down here. So Mm -hmm. in in, in result, we don't, we don't get a lot of experienced people, just people that are fresh meat. Mm -hmm. So, so at this particular point, are you guys trying to teach companies about your services? Are you trying to, uh, just, you know, cause I'm assuming that the reason reasons why, I mean, it's, I can see the point. I mean, you go, you, you, it's a small market down here in Miami. So you're going down to this place where there's a small market where people are not um, really, um, are really not, there's not a lot of competition there in Miami. But at the same token, um, people have not heard of um, an MCA type of company. So there has to be some level of educating companies that, hey, we're here and this is the services that we provide. Oh, yeah, so, I mean, we do our training in-house. Okay, so do you reach out to companies saying, um, hey, I, I think um, this, is a good, this is a good company that could probably benefit from our services. Let's reach out to them and see if they are a good fit. How do you find those consumers or those companies that could possibly be a good fit? Uh, this, this little device here, the phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, okay. We, um, we make a lot of phone calls out of this uh, uh, office. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and I think anytime that you reach a company and say, Hey, we got some money for you. Um, you know, they're going to be interested in finding out, you know, Hey, how can I get this money? Now the question is, are they, you know, are credit worthy? Are they able to, um, take advantage of those, um, 
of those uh, services based on, you know, the way the company is set up and the experience that they're having at that particular time. And also you said earlier about the SBA that, you know, companies right now are benefiting from, you know, the um, PPP loans and different um, stipends or, or subsidies that the government is offering. So like, why should I reach out to you and, 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 um, and pay your fees when I go to the SBA and I'm quite sure their fees are a lot less so I'm sure that's, you know, as you said earlier, you know, a lot of competition. Yeah, Very I mean, the, the biggest difference between uh, us and, and the SBA is that we, we get it done much sooner. We could get you funded the same day, whereas the mm-hmm. SBA, they won't even give you a time frame on, on how long it's going to take to process your loan because they can't, they can't, they, you know, they're, they're, they're the government. They can't, they can't, they can't make up those kind of promises, you know, when they're going to get around to it. But um, mm-hmm. we get people funded the same day and you don't have to wait for a bank or anybody. It's, it's, it's hard money, you know, real cash, non-refundable wire to you today. Wow. Okay. Oh, cool. (laughs) Well, I know people would love to hear that, you know, and I mean, um, you know, like you said, government sometimes doesn't move very, it's always not very efficient. I'll put it that way, you know, not very efficient all the time. So therefore, you know, by the time the government gets to you, you know, that opportunity has passed that you're trying to, you know, get the advance for. So I definitely get that. So how do um, people reach out to you? Say there's a, as a, a business out there, they're in need of your cash advance services. How would they reach out and find you? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could, they could just go to the website. It's funderhunt.co, funderhunt.co, not .com, just that .co. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, all the contact information is there, but you could literally just put in your application. You don't have to talk to anybody and we'll, we'll, be, we'll be in contact with you. Wow. So you can actually go to the website, put your information in online and, uh, you know, what, five, 10 minutes of just, you know, putting your information in and then someone to get back to you the same day. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll say this though. Uh, you know, cause we mentioned startups, we don't really fund startups. It's more existing businesses that are doing like five grand a month and up in revenue per month. Okay. Okay. So, so, so there are those, um, you do have a, um, you know, a certain limit that you have to be making a a month before you guys will do business with you. But I'm sure that's probably when you are filling out that application online. I'm sure those questions would be there that, you know, what are your, you know, what are those amounts that your your revenue and profits are monthly? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, there's gotta be something good about the file, right? That, you know, mm-hmm. this is what, what, a, what a mentor was telling me is that it's, you know, it comes down to is the credit above 700 or does he have really good bank statements? You know, one of the two. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Well, I'll leave your information in the show description, how to get in contact with you. And um, yeah, man, I think what you're doing is awesome. I think, you know, um, businesses need, uh, you know, I would love a cash advance if I, you know, if I'm having that situation where I feel like, you know, I can take this money and, um, you know, flip it, you know, make more of it and uh, and get that back to you. I'm, I just think that, you know, what is for one day, one last question. So what would be a good example of someone um, what they're experiencing where they would come to you and say, Hey, you know, I need a cash advance for my company. Uh, uh, you know, hiring employees, uh, you know, for, for me that, you know, I, I said it before, that's, that's, that's one of the biggest challenges for me right now. But, you know, if I, if I, if I want to hire somebody and I know that person's going to make me an extra 50 grand, you know, 50 grand a month uh, because of whatever is expertise or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, that, that, that we could, you could use our cash to, to hire that person. You could use it to make payroll. You could use it to buy inventory or just straight up working capital. I mean, or equipment, equipment is a big one too. Um, the people that t- take our cash, they, they typically need it right away. Mm-hmm. Um, so if, if someone's running low, you know, we'll get it done. We'll just come and apply. Oh, cool. You'll get it done. I, I, just, <laughs> I like that, you know, so I'm, um, yeah, just very impressed with you. So I'm, 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 
Uh, just amazed that, you know, that you guys are out here doing this. And like you said earlier, hey, once you're in this business and you're doing it, then, you know, you don't want to leave it. So it definitely sounds like something that um, is uh, a very satisfying career for you to say that. So um, definitely impressed. And I wish all the luck to you, man. Um, and uh, wish you the, the best and, and much more success as you move forward. And and F those SBA loans. <laughs> <laughs> OK, do, man, I'm, I'm excited for you. I really, really appreciate all the kinds of kind words. Thank you. I want to see I want to see you get to 100 episodes. Yeah, me too, man. I'm trying to get there, man. I'm trying to get there. I'm, I'm, I'm busting my butt. You know, my birthday was yesterday. I'm 44 now. Yes. You know, and um, and I'm just trying to be consistent about it. You know, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I want to get paid from running my mouth. <laughs> That's what I want to get paid for, you know. And um, and so, you know, one thing about this podcast, this podcast game is being consistent. You know, that's what people want to see. They want to see that you got a lot of videos out there, a lot of content. And um, and so, yeah, I want to keep keep it up, man. So I definitely want to have you back in the future so I can get a, um, a update on where you are and what's going on as you progress in your career. Because you got such a bright, uh, you know, it's, it's at 22. This way you at 22. Man, I can only imagine where you're going to be in a few years, man. It's, 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 it's pretty awesome. I'm deeply impressed. Appreciate it. And happy birthday. And you look Thank younger. You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Man. I'm trying to hang on to it, brother. I'm trying to hang on. You know, but uh, have a good evening and and, um, and, I, and I'll be in contact with you. All right. Later. Peace. Right, later. Okay, peace. Take care. So thanks for joining us this week. Uh, and I appreciate you staying to the end. You can join us next week for another episode. In the meantime, you can stay in contact with me by emailing DJ at DJCareerCoach.com. Again, that's DJ at DJCareerCoach.com. And I'll leave my links to my social media down in the show descriptions and also any other links to get a, get a hold of our guest. And just be sure to always remember, subscribe, like, follow, comment, because your comments and your opinions are important to me. So uh, please do that. And until next week, bye-bye.